right, guys, we back. I am extremely tired because yesterday after I finished working, one of my friends had hit me up, asked me if I could help him with a moving job in Jersey. I said, yeah, why not? You know, go ahead and do that. It took eight hours, over eight hours to finish that job on my part. They've been there since eight in the morning doing this moving job. And that, that, that job was an absolute disaster, I'm gonna tell y'all that. I ain't get home till like 12 o'clock, I am tired. But you know what? Still gotta get out here and make this money. So right now I got an order on Senpex, picking up from Lowe's. It's going five miles for $35, picking up two bathroom amenities. About 20 minutes away from the pickup, let's go. All right guys, we're here at Lowe's. Lowe's. I'm just gonna pick and get what we gotta get. I'm so tired, man. Morning. I have a one wheel pickup. Pickup? Yes. Okay, I don't see the other number. Do you know a customer's name at least? Yeah. Uh, Quadrell. That's name Quadrell. Yeah, yeah. Quadrell. Nah, this is for somebody else then. Go on a Quadrell. Okay, yeah, this is for somebody else. Okay. Um, give me like five minutes. Those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yep. All right, got the pickup, and for some reason on the Senpex app, the order number just wasn't there. So I had a hard time finding out who this order was for, but we got it. 60 minutes of the drop. Let's go. All right, drop off, and actually got another order on Senpex, picking up from another Lowe's, going nine miles for forty dollars. Didn't get any roadie orders today, which is odd, but it is what it is. Get these two things out of here. Put there, we got it here. All right, 27 minutes to the next pickup. Let's go. All right, load number two. Says I'm picking up some outdoor set. Three piece wicker patio conversion set, blue cushions. All right. Let's see if there's an order number. Yeah, this one has an order number. Nope. Have a one row pickup? Yeah. yeah. The, uh, order number? Yes. 100, 901, 122, 241. Yep. Yeah. Five five zero seven one three. Let's get at it. All right, eighteen minutes of the drop. Let's go. Okay, let's drop off. Pretty big house actually. Ooh. So I'm put it right there by the garage. That's it. All right, guys. So it's been a little while since so I've gotten in the order, and it's looking pretty dead today, unfortunately. So today I want to talk about how you guys can make the absolute most money on TaskRabbit. So for those of you who are on TaskRabbit, you already know how it goes. A bunch of different categories of jobs. And by the way, making the most money does not necessarily mean charging the most. Because sometimes you charge, you have your price listed at this ridiculous rate and you'll scare people away, okay? So first thing you wanna do is make sure you have same day tasks toggled on. I'm telling you guys, that right there makes a big difference in how quickly you show up on someone's screen. I actually have a TaskRabbit profile where I'm a client. I put in for a moving job for myself and toggled on same day jobs i come up second yep i come up second on task for same day jobs 
And when I have same day task toggled off, I come up number six, meaning the person would have to scroll up to find my page. Whereas when it's on, like I said, number two, second one from the top. You ain't gotta scroll, I'm right there. Next thing you just ask you to do, make sure you pay attention to what other people have priced around you. What I mean by that is make sure that you take a look at the profiles of everyone else that are on the page with you because they're all your competition. Every single person on TaskRabbit is competing with one another to get the most clients. Like there's a person who's number one. He does charge a lower hourly rate than I do. However, he requires a two hour minimum on all of his moving jobs. I don't do that. I only require that from moves to New York City. And it shows how he how I do get a lot more tasks than he does because I have 126 moving tasks and he's got 38. No, I'm sorry. He's got 53 moving tasks. And it looks like he's been on the app or at least doing moving jobs an entire year before I even got on the app. And he only has 53 moving jobs. Next thing you guys need to do is make sure that y'all arrive on time and y'all actually do the job that they ask of you to do all these tasks to keep your ratings up. Cause your ratings are very, are very, very important on TaskRabbit. I actually went down the list of the people who are on TaskRabbit with me in my category, in my area. I am the only person, the only person with over a hundred moving tasks who have come all five stars, the only one. So I just came across this review of one of the guys that's near me. I just want to read this because it is absolutely crazy. I'm not going to put his name out there. You know, obviously I don't want to mess up his money. But look, it says in all caps, do not hire him if you care about your items. The move was to a storage unit, three minute drive, 10 minute walk from the apartment. Blank and his partner took over 20 minutes to drive over to the storage unit. Once they arrived to the unit, they simply abandoned the job. Yes, abandoned the job. They placed the bed and the mattress inside a storage unit and left. I contacted him and he claimed the item did not fit in storage, storage unit and that I needed a bigger space. My wife stored everything in the, in the unit minus the bookshelf that I requested to be disassembled and he didn't. Someone at the storage unit felt bad seeing my wife working alone and disassembled the bookshelf in less than five minutes. When I asked him about it, he said he was not sure what was the bookshelf. Okay. He could have asked, he could have asked but he chose not to. Several furniture pieces were damaged, including my lamp that was that is over $2,000. He is a mover and has no gear. He asked the storage unit for tools. He agreed to one and a half hours of work, $208. My father and I moved everything. Terry moved plus nine extra pieces and what? Nine extra pieces and heavier in two hours. Terry purposely stalled to go over the time and now charging over four hundred dollars, claiming uses of gear tools that he did not have. Keep in mind his prices advertised van guys included, which is all he used. Damn, that's great. And this is from March twenty second, twenty twenty four. Well, not too long ago. You know what? I'm thinking about starting a new segment where I'm just reading out bad reviews on TaskRabbit because these are funny. Let me let me guy let me let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section because I, I'm really considering this because oh man, that's funny. And guys, yo, these two and one star reviews will definitely kill your business just like it will kill any other business. So make sure y'all just do the right thing the first time. I just want to read this next one too because it's uh, the same person. This one is even funnier. It says, My experience was very different from the reviews on TaskRabbit. I chose him because of all the good reviews. The way he responded to my communication was not professional but emotional. Meaning you bitch. I don't think the movers were fast to be honest and I have a missing item. When I reached out to him about the missing item, he wasn't willing to locate it. That, that's crazy, man. When the movers were leaving my new place, they asked me if everything was there, and I said yes, and later I noticed that an electric heater, she actually put electricity heater, electric heater was actually missing, so I contacted Terry about it. His response was, was more that he didn't care about it since I said yes, 
when the movers asked me if everything was at the new place when they were leaving. He also said one of the movers recorded the conversation, me saying yes, so he's not responsible anymore. Yeah, that's not how things work, bro. I was hoping at least he was willing to be helpful with it. Also, he reached out to me a day after saying the payment had failed and sometimes banks decline the transaction when there's a transaction in a large amount and it was the case. I wanted to check the invoice on the app before authorizing the transaction because the amount charged was higher than discussed. I couldn't find the detailed information of the amount at the time so I told him I text him. I'm sorry. I told him I confirmed the transaction after the check after checking the invoice. It was Saturday evening. The next morning, he texted me saying they will be they will send it to collections and report it to your credit bureaus. Also civil court if not paid. This guy's wildin', man. But yeah, you can just notify your car company that it's authorized. This is the experience I had with him. The way I was treated as a customer was not pleasant. That's crazy. Shh. Speechless, man. How are you going to tell a customer they're going to send it to collection? Like, come on now. I mean, I do have problems with people not paying, but that gets paid out through TaskRabbit. As a matter of fact, I have two clients that haven't paid me yet, and I actually have to reach out to TaskRabbit to get paid for them. All right, guys, that's enough of that. Just got to set the four. My first road gig of the day, picking up a tractor supply. Let me see. Come on. It is going five miles or 25.52. I'm about probably 10 minutes away from the pickup. Let's go. All right, so I'll wait here. It's a little fancy little tractor supply. Okay. Hi, I have a order pickup for the customer service. Yes. Name? Uh, Kathleen Perez. Uh, your name? Patrick. What's your name? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. Ten minutes for the drop off. And that's probably going to be the last order I do today because I'm still very sleepy from yesterday. So let's go. All right. Last drop off the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just put it up against this, uh, the wall and call it a day. Last three things. That's it. So that's it for today. I made $100.52. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And yo, like I said, let me guys let me know if you guys want to see me do read some more of these task grabber reviews. You guys see y'all in the next one. Peace.